Yo, what's up everyone? My name is Madrock and welcome back to a very special video. It's going to be like of a mad theory of some sort based on the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Okay, so get ready for this because I actually managed to see the movie um, just in time and it was so freaking good. The movie was just absolutely 100% amazing. It was hilarious. It was so damn incredible all the action at all it was just just love it what more could i possibly say and the discussion about this movie is going to be unlike any other um than the rest that you see because i want to actually bring out some stuff that what could be um what things have you not noticed in the film um, th that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm trying to do. This is why it's going to be like some sort of Mad Theory episode special or something. Yeah, so anyways, let's begin. The first thing I want to actually talk about is, um, Eggman's, um, robots and badniks. And of course, the voice actor, um, the actor itself actually of Dr. Robotnik is actually Jim Carrey, as we all know. But, um, aside from that, uh, his badniks, as I said before, um, if you haven't noticed his badniks, you, um, you would usually expect to have, like, animal bad badniks, like, they would usually be insects, like a ladybug, or a, um, like, some sort of chameleon, or a mosquito, that sort of stuff, but, um, in this case, they're basically, like, spherical drones, technically speaking, and you know what? The other thing that I noticed that all of his vehicles and badniks are black and white. Most of them white, but also some black and white. Take this um this giant freaking um truck for example, the one that freaking splits into like what like uh four or five parts from ginormous to freaking mini who freaking shoots out lasers and all. But the point of that is that taking looking at the first um version of the car itself, um. It's got white at the top, black at the bottom. And this actually reminds me a lot um, a with the uh, freaking Death Egg robots back at Sonic Forces. Now, a lot of people actually not notice this, but I certainly did. And it reminds me so much about those freaking Death Egg robots in Sonic Forces because it just looks so similar. It's almost like that Eggman has already taken over the world or something because... Like, technically speaking, it only it kind of seems like that he already has from the very beginning of the, of the uh, movie. And that's what's fascinating, because some of the robots that you've seen recently, like, you know how Eggman, the original, is, is red, and usually you would see that most of his badniks are actually red? Take those, for example, and, um, yeah, but the rest of the robots, like in Sonic Forces, are apparently white, or white and black, and that's technically what they actually did in the movie, which is actually quite amazing. I mean, I was quite surprised when they did something like that. That's just the first thing that I ever want to cover up, and I wanted to say that one so bad. Anyway, next thing to cover up is, um... His rings. Now, technically speaking, you know how mostly that when you actually gather up speed, um... It's usually collecting rings, but recently in the past, um, ev ever since when Sonic actually kind of got um, used his speed over time, it's usually the Wisp, or every time when he actually has, when he hits like any of the robots, he actually gains these freaking kind of ores or something that allows him to gain more speed, so he can actually, you know, go faster and all, and at this point... It's actually his, it's the specific electricity that from the movie is what gives him that speed, particularly. So it's no longer about like, you know, gaining items to contain speed, which is amazing. And that's what I like so much about this part, because, I mean, you don't usually see electricity coming from Sonic. It's usually just this blue um, aura that just comes out of him. You technically don't know why it's there, but... Now, it makes a lot of more sense that the way how they did in the movie, um, it's, just, it's, it's his fur and the static electricity coming from his quills and all that just creates so much electricity. It's just basically epic, and that's what I love so much about it. It's definitely a new approach the way how Sonic actually um, works in this situation. Like, if they actually did a game 
thing is, uh, I'm pretty sure that they would actually do a game based on Sonic on this movie. I, there's no doubt about it. If they, if it's possible, that is. But yeah, I would have. I don't have much of a doubt that they would probably have something like that. But yeah, I just love it. His speed is phenomenal, yeah. and it really can pack a punch as well. Like, like take the time when he actually takes out the first part of the of the vehicle. Like that was a first good move, and then the final blast when he actually takes out Eggman and sends him to the plant to the mushroom planet, which is freaking amazing. I it's like, how much power can you obtain? Another thing about those rings, that they're like a teleportation um, device now. Like, every time when he throws them, he thinks about what he, where he wants to go. And that way, he just basically travels there. It's almost a bit like Doctor Strange from the Avengers or something. Or even furthermore, um, Hoopa from Pokemon, the movie Hoopa Unbound. Which is actually one particular one that I know most of all. Because that, that also includes rings to teleport. Yeah. So yeah, we're getting a lot of ring teleportation here, which is, it's kind of, it's, it's now growing into the community, which is, um, I, I'm, I'm not complaining or anything, but, you know, it, it's kind of useful in a way. Okay, now the one crazy thing that I want to talk about is the knuckles. Like, I'm not kidding when I talk about these freaking echidnas. The way they actually look, look exactly like the original Knuckles. Just remove all the freaking mask and all the weapons, because... I mean, is that what Knuckles had back in the time when he when he was not alone or anything? Like, that could be Knuckles' one and only origins. And let's not to say, where the heck was Angel Island, by the way? Because in this, in the very beginning of the movie, like, this was basically the um, Sonic's Green Hill Zone before he went to Earth's Green Hill Zone. So, yeah, I mean, what the hell happened with Angel Island? I mean, did, did any of these echidnas um, came from Angel Island or anything like that? Well, did they? Moving on, if we actually work on Longclaw, which is basically a female owl who kind of um, makes it feel like it's um, snuck, like Sonic's um, adopted mother or something, I don't know what, but I, unless if he is, I'm not that quite very sure, because in the original story, and I'm literally talking about the original story of Sonic the Hedgehog, he was technically brown, and he was actually working with Dr. Robotnik, well, his real name was Dr. Ayatskiosteth, I have no freaking idea, but th he made a machine that actually allowed Sonic to turn blue and super fast in order to be able to search for the power of the Chaos Emeralds. But then there was like an accident with the machine. Sonic, however, succeeded in turning blue and moving super duper fast. However, the explosion to, to um, Dr. Eos Kreef, whatever... I, I still don't know this, the actual name. That's when he actually became Dr. Robotnik, a.k.a. Eggman. I mean, in this case, the movie, he's already Dr. Eggman. It, it's ridiculous. So, yeah. Crazy how they decided to depict whatever the hell they came up with. Because th th there's a real big difference within the story. As in, difference between the original story and the, um, the story within the movie. So, yeah, that's a little bit kind of interesting. I noticed the original story. I had a quick browse at it. And it makes a lot more sense. I mean, they just technically did not go with this to the movie. Which is a bit of a shame, but you know what? I really don't mind. And the way how Baby Sonic looks, he's so adorable. I, I will say that. And depicting with... Baby Sonic and Teen Sonic in the movie. Baby Sonic is a reference to the classic Sonic. And the Teen Sonic is actually a reference to the modern Sonic as we all know right now. So that kind of makes a lot of sense, the way how they actually decided to depict that on Sonic's growth. Which I kind of like. It's actually very interesting. And technically speaking, that classic Sonic never talks in Sonic Generations or in... um or in Sonic Forces, except for the times when the original Sonic cartoon, like, I don't know, Sonic Underground, something like that. That's what I'm trying to get at. 
And let's not forget about Tails when he actually shows up at the end credits. Anyone who's actually seen that, good on you. But this is probably something that we we'll probably might know that there's also going to be a second movie. I mean, I've been hearing a lot of things about a sequel for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I've been hearing a lot of things about it. So, depending on what other characters are going to be put besides from Tails, who knows? The one thing I actually did not, um, well, I, I was looking forward to this, but it's just, it, it was a little disappointment with the finale, is they didn't have Super Sonic with the Chaos Emeralds. Like, that would have been the greatest thing, um, but unfortunately they actually did not do that, um, which is a shame, but um, maybe with the sequel they will probably might do it, which I will enjoy the most. And finally, ending it off with, um... I don't know, really. I mean, I mean, basically, overall, the movie has been uh, quite the action, and uh, it's it's really fun. It's, it's a really fun movie, a classic for the classics to behold. Um, it's absolutely great, and I cannot wait to see if there is going to be any chances of a sequel. So that would be fantastic to see as well um, if there's any chances that that's going to happen. So yeah. Um, I got nothing else to say to that, but maybe that could be the end of this video right here. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this special video, and um, yeah, the, those those uh, those Sonic theories might have to wait because of this one. So yeah, I will get into that. I will get into those sooner or later. I know I said I I'll, I'll bring it up after the Crash Bandicoot um, discussion, um, but yeah, um, you know what. It's been an absolute blast watching that movie. I really loved it the most. And thank you guys very much for watching this video. And if you liked it, please um, like and subscribe after when you finish watching this video. And like as always, my name is Mad Dog, and peace out.